What's going on, y'all? It's your man Christine back with another video. Man, welcome to the camera video for the new Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1. Now, this is an 8 megapixel sensor on the front, and I gotta say, look at this quality. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is really no surprise to me because Asus, they always make good quality cameras on pretty much every one of their smartphones that I've ever had. So, this isn't really, this isn't, this is no surprise to me. You know what I mean? 1080p, full HD, 30 frames per second right now. I believe that you can record up to 60 frames per second, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'll go ahead and take a look around. Now, I don't believe that there's optical image stabilization, but I do believe that there is electronic image stabilization. And so that's definitely going to help out if you're walking around, moving around, and recording video. It stops it from being real shaky. I'm walking a little gingerly right now, you know. So let me go ahead and get my stroll on so you guys can kind of get an idea of what that's like. And of course, you know, you've got a slew of options and custom and customizable things that you can change and really get that image quality that you like. So again, as I mentioned, this is the eight megapixel shooter of the new Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Again, this phone is $229.99. Because of the price, it's in the budget category, but trust me, you're getting a lot of phone for the price that you're paying. You know what I mean? You're getting, you know, more so mid-range and and, 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 and and somewhat flagship territory with the features and functions that are on this device. So check it out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. All right? Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What's going on, y'all? This your man, Pristine, back with another video real quick. So welcome to the rear-facing camera of the Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1. Now this is a 16 megapixel rear facing shooter. Now we do have two camera lenses on the back here. As I just mentioned, the primary camera is a 16 megapixel lens. The second camera is an eight megapixel wide angle, 120 degree field of view lens. Okay, so we don't have the ability while we're recording to switch from one lens to the other. Um, I wish we did have that ability because it's kind of nice like on a lot of the LG devices that have that wide angle lens while you're actually recording you can switch from the primary camera to the wide angle lens but you know it's not really a big deal um, but it is not it is a nice feature to have that wide angle lens now we do not have optical image stabilization but we do have electronic image stabilization here and as you can see the overall quality is just absolutely gorgeous I'll go ahead and take a stroll around here. If you can just look at the color reproduction here. This is a beautiful day in Seattle, Washington. It's a little cold out here, but it's very nice out here. Okay, pardon all the noise. You guys can see the freeway back there. That's I-5 right there. Um, but yeah, so the video may be a little bit, maybe a little bit shaky. The electronic image stabilization definitely helps, but obviously it would be better if we had optical image stabilization, but hey. You can't expect to have it all. You know, this is a $230 device. Man, and for everything that you're getting for this particular price point, I can't complain over the fact that it doesn't have optical image stabilization. I mean, do, do I wish that it had it? Absolutely. But the fact that it doesn't, is it a cure-all? No, it's not. All right. So again here, we'll just look at the big toy there. Sun shining through. And just, you know, when I move around, I mean, you just look at how the camera just adjust. I mean, it doesn't take long to focus at all whatsoever. And you take a look at the bark down there. God, everything is just so sharp and detailed. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom in on the basketball court there and see if it loses any resolution or anything. I know sometimes on certain cameras, you know, when you zoom in, the things start to get a little blurry. They start to get a little choppy a little bit, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. I was at a hair show the other day, and for those of you that don't know, I also have a, you know, a, um, a barbering background as well. And so I don't know if you guys notice, oftentimes like when I do, you know, um, when I take selfies, you know, I don't know if you pay attention to my haircut or, you know, I, I, I believe in staying clean. I believe in a clean lineup, razor lineups. And, you know, I have a couple of different barbers, but I also know how to do it myself. And so I was at a hair show and I was looking at the barber battle, just going around, taking a bunch of videos, taking a bunch of pictures. And I was using this camera and the quality while I was zooming in on a lot of the fades, tapers, a lot of the lineups, a lot of the designs was just absolutely stunning. And I'll display some of those photos in the camera video here that I'm piecing together on this particular device but 
the camera on this phone is just absolutely amazing in my personal opinion. I know a lot of people that saw a lot of the photos that I took, they were blown away as well by what they were seeing. And of course, this is a device that they've never heard of before. You know, it's interesting if you're not in the mobile world. I mean, a lot of these devices that, you know, I feature on my channel, a lot of people, they never heard of them before. All they heard about is Apple, Samsung, you know, LG, you know, it's just crazy. It's crazy. But that's what it is. So let me go ahead and step down here. And you do have a bunch of different things that you can customize, different modes and things um, to really get that video quality that you want to get a few things that you can tweak to really set it up the way you want it to look so let me know what you guys think of the 16 megapixel primary camera on the asus zenfone max plus m1 all right catch you guys in the next video peace